me be, let me be clear here because Judge Judge Clancy at the end of her decision says that we're only requesting male specific DNA. No, no, that's not what we're asking for. We're asking to do touch type and trace DNA with just like every just like gun cases are done every day in this city. So we're asking to test the pillowcase that was used to suffocate Ms. Vega. We're asking to test the 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 gown that she was wearing, and the, even the Emmy states that the, it looks like the person that committed this murder used the pillowcase to suffocate Ms. Vega and actually was on top of her. We're not asking to test things that we're not involved with. Or we're not shoot, shooting in the dark. Wasn't here. this testing already? That's again, that's great. That, I, no, I but but I'm, I'm going, some, I'm, I'm going somewhere because under the statute, is is there a uh, uh, are are you entitled to a second test? How can you test something that you didn't have the ability to test in the first place? Since two, back then, there was no ability to test touch, type, and trace DNA. So, so that, question, that's a new method. That, that's a new method. That's a new method. So, so every time there's a new method, uh, the courts have to allow all evidence that was utilized in criminal prosecutions and then allow all of that evidence or part of that evidence to be retested on the hope and the prayer we might find something. Don't we need something more than that? Not all, not all cases, just this one. So, uh, <laughs> good comeback. Good try. The motion was an improper attempt to obtain retesting of. Well, uh, counselor, uh, is it really retesting when the test that he's asking for uh, did not exist at that time? It's testing in a different form, right, with new technology. That, 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 is, that is absolutely correct, Your Honor. But I would note that this court, that, that, that this court held in People v. Espino that the statute does, simply does not permit retesting. It does not allow defendants, uh, convicted defendants, to. Uh, avail themselves of well, it modern... doesn't provide for retesting, not that the statute doesn't allow retesting. It doesn't prohibit it, it just doesn't no, you're right, require you're right. it. You're, you're, you're right, Your Honor. It, but so why shouldn't, by the text why it shouldn't we uh, allow for this retesting, seeing as this uh, uh, method was not available at that time? And as we know, the more time goes by, the better the testing gets. So why not allow for uh, the testing of this under this new method? Because I think I think Judge Clancy got it right. And you know what? I'm going to have to live with that with DNA testing. It wouldn't be the first time I would be wrong. Right. But I would be willing to test that. What? What's the? Are we going to let a man sit in jail for something that he didn't do? Are we going to just test it? Doesn't justice that that this is where? So then, let me get back to that point. You, your position is that we should now implement this law that when new forms of testing come out, right. this, is, this should be our case law. When new forms of testing come out, people should be entitled to retest, even if there's no other reason other than. It's new forms of uh, DNA testing, now retest. And I think that that will be something that maybe some people can argue before the legislature, because they can write that into the law, into the statute. But that's not what we have right now.